Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Bienvenidos a este estudio bíblico. And welcome to this Bible study. Eh, preparen sus Biblias en Génesis 34. Prepare your Bibles in Genesis 34. Y preparen sus corazones porque esto va a estar duro. <laughs> and prepare your hearts because this is something really hard to hear. Vamos a empezar con una alabanza. We're going to start off with a, 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 a song of praise. Um, tu fidelidad es grande. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness, Lord, is uh, enormous, is huge, is, is immeasurable. Amen. Vamos a alabarlo. Tu fidelidad es grande. Tu fidelidad incomparable es, nadie como tú, bendito Dios, grande es tu fidelidad. Aleluya. Tu fidelidad es grande. Tu fidelidad incomparable, no hay nadie, nadie como tú, bendito Dios. Aleluya, bendito sea el nombre de Dios. Vamos a hacer una corta oración. Let us pray. Nuestro Dios y Padre eterno, Señor, gracias por tu palabra. Tu palabra verdaderamente es como espada, Señor, que atraviesa nuestros corazones y penetra hasta lo más íntimo de nosotros. Señor, esta tarde tu palabra va a ser dura. Esta tarde tu palabra va a ser bien, bien penetrante, cortante y, y va a doler a muchas personas, Señor. Pero, Señor, estamos buscando tu rostro para pedir también al mismo tiempo tu sanidad. Tu guía, Señor, que toques vidas de una manera tan única, Señor, que puedas transformar la vida de las personas que nos están viendo y escuchando esta tarde, Señor. Mm. Padre, que esta palabra a través de, de los medios de comunicación, los medios sociales, Señor, ayuden a todas las personas, Señor, que están siendo... Eh, Tocadas por el tema que vamos a hablar, que se llama de la violación, el rapto, el abuso, el maltrato, Señor. Son temas difíciles, por lo cual suplicamos tu gracia, tu unción, tu ayuda, tu guía. Suplicamos tu Espíritu Santo, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's Bible study. We are going to talk about very delicate subjects. But Lord, we know that your word, your blessed word, is so piercing into the heart of men. It's, it pierces to the very, uh, to the depths of, of a human soul. Lord, transform us into what you would want us to be. Give us uh, these uh, uh, lessons so that we can apply them to our lives. And we, yeah. overall, or, or, or overarching everything, we would like the 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 anointing of the Holy Spirit over this whole uh, all these topics that we're gonna be discussing this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ Amen 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 El título de esta lección es decisiones y consecuencias The title of this uh, Bible study is uh, decisions and consequences y esta es una lección de la Escuela Dominical. And this is a, a lesson from the uh, Sunday School. Y esto viene del libro número 9. Comes from book number 9. La senda, eh, o el sendero de la verdad. Of uh, the path to truth. Y vamos a empezar leyendo la Biblia. We're going to start off by reading the scriptures. Vamos a leer Génesis 34. We're going to visit uh, Genesis 34. En cierta ocasión, Dina, la hija que Jacob tuvo con Lea, salió a visitar a las mujeres del lugar. 
Cuando la vio Siquén, que era hijo de Jamor el Ebeo, jefe del lugar, la agarró por la fuerza, se acostó con ella y la violó, pero luego se enamoró de ella y trató de ganarse su afecto. Entonces le dijo a su padre, consígueme a esta muchacha para que sea mi esposa. Jacob se enteró de que Siquén había violado a su hija Dina, pero como sus hijos estaban en el campo cuidando el ganado, no dijo nada hasta que ellos regresaron. Mientras tanto, Jamor, el padre de Siquén, salió en busca de Jacob para hablar con él. Cuando los hijos de Jacob volvieron del campo y se enteraron de lo sucedido, quedaron muy dolidos y a la vez llenos de ira. Siquén había cometido una ofensa muy grande contra Israel al abusar de su hija. Era algo que nunca debió haber hecho. Pero Jamor les dijo, mi hijo Siquén está enamorado de la hija de ustedes. Por favor, permitan que ella se case con él. Háganse parientes nuestros. Intercambiemos nuestras hijas en cansamiento. Así ustedes podrán vivir entre nosotros y el país quedará a su disposición para que lo habiten. Hagan negocios y adquieran terrenos. Siquén, por su parte, les dijo al padre y a los hermanos de Dina, Si ustedes me hallan digno de su favor, yo les daré lo que me pidan. Pueden pedirme cuanta dote quieran y exigirme muchos regalos, pero permitan que la muchacha se case conmigo. Amen. And again, we are reading from the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 34, verses 1 through 12. The word of God says as follows. Now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, that the daughter, the daughter Leah had bore to Jacob, went out to visit the women of the land. When Shechem, son, son of Hamor, the Hivit, Hivite, the Hivit, Hivite. Hiv, Hivite, the ruler of the area, saw her and took her and raped her. His heart was drawn to Dinah, daughter of Jacob. He loved the young woman and spoke tenderly to her. And Shechem said to his father, Hamer, get me this girl as my wife. When Jacob heard that his daughter Dinah had been defiled, the sons were in the fields with the livestock. So he did nothing until about it until they came home. Then Shechem's father Uh, Shechem's father, Hamer, went out to talk to Jacob. Meanwhile, Jacob's sons had come in from the field. As soon as they heard what had happened, they were shocked and furious because Shechem had, had done an outrageous thing in Israel by sleeping with Jacob's daughter, a thing that should not have been done. But Hamer said to them, My son Shechem has his heart set on your daughter. Please give her to him as his wife. Intermarry with us. Give us your daughters and take our daughters for yourselves. You can settle among us and, and, land is, and the land is open to you. Live in it, trade in it, and acquire property in it. Then Shechem said to Dinah's father and brothers, Let me find favor in your eyes, and I will give you whatever you ask. Make the price for the bride and the gift I am to bring as great as you like, and I'll pay whatever you ask me. Only give me the young woman as my wife. Como les dije anteriormente, <clears throat> el título es Decisiones y Consecuencias. As I told you before, the, the Bible studies title for today is Decisions and Consequences. And, y el objetivo de esta lección, and the objective for this lesson es que usted aprenda a pedir la dirección de Dios. is that you may learn how to ask for the guidance of God Antes de tomar decisiones usted. before you take decisions by yourself. 
y así evitar consecuencias desagradables. And in that way, avoid any disappointing outcomes that may befall. Uh, ustedes han debido escuchar muchas veces you may have heard many times que hay personas que se quejan that there is a lot of people that complain y dicen que, que desgraciada es su vida and then they, and they, they say things like I can't believe how, uh, how miserable my life is que mal me va <clears throat> la vida dicen. my life is just, it just it's just a bunch of ruin y no podremos, no podemos atribuir jamás que esta persona tal vez tiene mala suerte. And we can't just attribute that to bad luck. Y que eh, hay que tener sabiduría. We have to have wisdom. Muchas veces. Lots of times. Las cosas malas que nos pasan en la vida. The things, the bad things that happen to us. Son consecuencia de nuestras propias malas decisiones. Are only consequences of the bad decisions we have made in life. Y muchas veces nuestros seres amados. And many times our loved ones around us. Son también los que pagan esas consecuencias. Are the victims of those consequences that uh, come on us or, or befall us. Vamos a empezar esta lección. We're going to start off this lesson. Hablando acerca de lo que se llama el ámbito de seguridad. Talking about uh, something called the... The area of security. Thank you. An area of security. En, en el capítulo eh, 33. In chapter 33. O tal vez 32. Or perdón. possibly 32. Eh, vemos que... Eh, Jacob tenía una sola hijita mujer. We see that Jacob only had one uh, uh, daughter, one daughter. Pero tenía once hijos. But he had eleven sons. Eh, Dina era una joven. Uh, Dinah was a young woman. Rica. Rich. Muy posiblemente hermosa. Possibly very beautiful. Muy buena. A good girl, a good woman. Uh, la habían cuidado y tratado muy bien. They had sheltered her and, and taken care of her. Y en este momento en su vida. And at this point in her life. Ella está en un territorio donde la consideraban una extranjera. And at this point in her life, she's in a, in a place where they consider her a, a, a foreigner. Al final del capítulo 33. At the end of chapter 33. Eh, vemos que Jacob había comprado una tierra. We see, we, we, we understand that Jacob had bought a land. En, una, <coughs> en un lugar que la Biblia lo llama Siquem. A plot of land that the Bible calls it Siquem. Shikim. El, el territorio se llamaba Siquem. The territory was called Siquem. So en ese lugar Dina era una joven extranjera. So in that place Dina was a foreign a foreign girl a, 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 a girl from another land. Uh, y eh, Jacob había comprado esta tierra por 100 monedas de plata. Jacob ha had bought this land this plot of land for a uh, hundred uh, uh, coins of, of gold. Silver. Silver gold. Uh, silver, silver coins. Y la Biblia dice que los compró de los hijos de Hamor, padre de Siquem. And he had bought this land from the sons of, uh, sons of Hamor, uh, which was the father of Shechem, the, the young man that we talked about in the scriptures. Vamos a hablar un poco acerca del campamento de Jacob. Let's talk about the encampment that Jacob had. En ese campamento, In that encampment, Jacob les brindó a todos eh, todo lo que pudieran necesitar. Jacob supplied everything that they may have needed, everyone. Eh, por ejemplo, provisión, alimentos. Example, uh, provisions such as food. Ropa, zapatos, comodidades. Clothing, shoes. Uh, any kind of uh, comfort. Eh, abrigo. Uh, shelter. shelter. Mm -hmm. Y 
Seguridad. And security. Usted ve que como padres de familia siempre nos importa la seguridad de nuestros hijos. As you know, as parents, the security of our kids or of our children is the, of utmost importance. Y en este eh, campamento, and in this encampment, in this camp of Jacob, cada persona tenía sus responsabilidades. Everybody had their own responsibilities. Según este pasaje, entendemos que los hombres salían a cuidar a los animales. According to this passage, we understand that the men went out to the field to take care of the livestock. Y asumimos que las mujeres se quedaban a um, eh, cuidar del resto de la familia. And we are assuming that the women would stay back in the camp taking care of the family. Esto me hizo pensar. This made me think. Que también... Dentro de la cobertura de Dios. That also, under the covering of the Lord. Como a decir, el campamento de nuestro Padre as, Celestial. As if we were to say the encampment or the camp that our Heavenly Father provides to us. Nosotros también tenemos todo lo que podemos necesitar. We have everything and anything that we could ever need. Y aún más todavía. And even more. Tenemos provisión. We have provision. Tenemos abrigo. Shelter. Tenemos la seguridad. Security. Tenemos respeto. Respect. Tenemos la dirección de Dios. The direction of God. Tenemos su protección. We have the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father's protection. No nos falta nada. We lack nothing. Pero fuera de la protección de Dios. But out of the protection of the Lord. Existen muchos peligros. There are many dangers. Incluso el peligro de muerte. Including the, the danger of death. En uh, Primera de Pedro, el capítulo 5. First Peter, chapter 5. La última parte del versículo 8 dice. The last part of uh, verse number 8 says. Su enemigo de ustedes. Your enemy. El diablo. The devil. Ronda como león rugiente. Roams around as a roaring lion. Buscando a quien devorar. Looking to whom he will devour. Y eso nos lleva al segundo punto. And this brings us to the second point. Los peligros fuera del campamento. The dangers outside of the encampment, outside of the camp. La escritura nos da a entender que a Dina le entró curiosidad. Uh, the scriptures uh, uh, tell us that there no may... No entender. No nos dice, pero nos, nos da a entender. Okay, the, the, the scriptures, uh, we can infer that uh, Dinah had some sort of curiosity. Y en el verso 1, <clears throat> sí dice... And in verse 1, it tells us... Que ella <clears throat> salió del campamento de su padre... A visitar a las mujeres del lugar. That she went out from the encampment of her, his, uh, her father to visit the women, the Canaanite women, the Hitta, uh, Hivit, Hivit, Hivite. Hivite women. <laughs> um, nosotros vemos que Dina era una princesa en el campamento de su padre. We can see that Dinah was a princess in the encampment of her father. Ella era amada. She was loved, Respetada, respected, la cuidaban, they took care of her, la protegían, they would uh, protect her. Y tal vez pensó <coughs> Dina, and maybe she may have thought to herself que al salir del campamento, that as she went out of her father's encampment, la iban a tratar igual. They were, they, everybody outside of the encampment, or, 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 or they were, she was going to be treated the same way. Y, Vemos en esta historia But we see in this story que ella era una muchacha muy ingenua. That she was uh, uh, a very uh, naive. naive young woman. Y se fue a conocer a las chicas cananeas. And she went to meet with the Canaanite women. No podemos tomar esto ligeramente. We cannot take this lightly. Muchas personas dirían, pero que de malo tiene que vaya a conocer otras muchachas. So many people may say, what, what, what's so wrong about Dinah going and meeting 
all these other young women. Pero qué, qué de malo le va a pasar? What could possibly go wrong? What could pass possibly happen to her? No nos engañemos. Let us not fool ourselves. Nosotros los adultos no debemos ser ingenuos. The adults, we cannot be gullible. Uh, naive. Naive. Uh, en el verso 2. Verse 2. Una mirada lasciva, sucia y sombría se posó sobre Dina. Um, Verso 2. Do I have that there? Let's see. 34. I have it as when Shechem, son of Hamer, the ruler of the area, saw her, he took her and raped her. Empezó <laughs> con una mirada. It all started with a, a lascivious or, a, yeah, a, a lustful look that this young man had towards her. Una mirada que manchó a una jovencita pura. A, a, a look that tarnished this pure young woman. Y quiero hablar a los varones. And I would like to direct myself to the young men. Hombres en general. All men in general. Y con, lo hago con mucho respeto. And I do this with lots of respect. Y les ruego a ustedes. And I beg you. Y a los jóvenes varones. And the young men especially. E incluso los, los mayores. And, and the ones with more age. No manchen la pureza de una jovencita con miradas sucias. Do not tarnish the purity of a young woman with a lustful look. Ni de ninguna dama. Or of, a, of any Lady, for that matter. A las señoritas, a las damas, yo les digo con mucho respeto. To the young ladies, I tell you with lots of respect. Jamás tome como un coqueteo esas miradas sucias. Do not uh, take uh, these lascivious or lustful looks as... Um, uh, coqueteo. Huh? Flirting. Flirting, as flirting. Thank you. Eh, esas miradas sucias ya no, con esas miradas sucias ya nos han faltado al respeto. With those kinds of looks, with those dirty looks, those uh, lustful looks, they have they have already disrespected the young women or the women. Y eso no es parte de eh, oh, querer enamorar a una persona jamás. And, and that is not. Uh, has no no part in 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 the process of courting or trying to uh, uh, date someone. In este mismo verso 12. In this uh, verse dos, two. Dos, perdón. In this verse two that we just uh, finished. Esa mirada. That look. Les llevó, lo, o lo llevó a Siquem. Led this young Shikim young man. A violarla. To rape Dinah. Y esta es una, eh, un acto violento. And this is a violent and a violent act. La tomó por la fuerza. He took her by force. Todas las versiones de la Biblia lo dicen de la misma manera. Every version of the Bible, of the scriptures, tells us, tells us the same thing. Tell us the same thing. Empezó con un pensamiento sucio. It all started with a dirty thought. Pero después llevó a Siquem a que viole a Dina. And it all uh, ended up in, in Shechem raping Dina. Un acto violento y forzado. Uh, a forced and violent act. A esto lo dirijo tanto a los padres como a las damas, a las especialmente mujeres jóvenes solteras. I'm directing this uh, to the parents and also to the young women. Cuando una dama, una señorita sale de la cobertura del hogar. When a young lady leaves the covering of her home. Cuando sale de la cobertura de sus padres. When she leaves the covering of her parents. Incluso cuando salen de la cobertura de la iglesia. 
including also when they leave the covering of a church. Está en peligro de caer en una situación similar al de Dina. You, young lady, are in danger of, of, of uh, having a situation similar to the one that Dinah had happen to you all. Si usted es una señorita, una jovencita que es parte de una iglesia. If you're a young lady that belong to a church. Y que es parte de un hogar cristiano. And you're part of a Christian home. O, o usted se llama cristiana. Or you call yourself a Christian lady. La Biblia nos habla claramente que no podemos salir con personas no cristianas. The Bible is explicit and it tells us that we should not be Uh, going out or, or leaving uh, the, the covering of our home with people that are not Christian. Um, esto nos hace vulnerables a todo tipo de peligro. This makes us vulnerable to all kinds of, of dangers. Por más que lo que le ofrecen parece bien placentero. Even if whatever uh, it's out there is offering you a good time or is pleasing. Yeah, que usted se va a You're going to have fun. La va a pasar muy bien. You're just going to have a grand old time. Uh, va a, va a ser bien it's going to be uh, very, very uh, uh, it's going to stir your emotions. No acepte. Please do not accept. Los resultados pueden, pueden traer una gran desgracia para usted. Y su familia. The results or the consequences may bring uh, disastrous uh, consequences to you and your family. Y aún puede involucrar a otras personas. And this may also involve other people. Y también eh, quisiera decirles esto. I would like to tell you the following. Muchas veces quieren disfrazar las cosas malas como cosas buenas. Many times we want to sugarcoat things that are bad and we want to sugarcoat them in, into looking good. They're good things. Le They're not a, so bad. Le voy a eh, mencionar un poquito, bien cambiado. I'm going to uh, mention the following to you. Segunda Corintios 11, 14. Second Corinthians 11, este es un, uh, verse 14. Es una alerta. It's a warning. Para que usted sepa so that you may know que el diablo también se disfraza como ángel de luz. That the devil also disguises himself as an angel of light. Y su propósito, conocemos cuál es el propósito de Satanás. And his purpose in doing so. We know his purpose. Engañar. To, to deceive. Mentir. To lie. Destruir. Destroy. Y si puede. And if he can. Matar. He will kill. Tenga mucho cuidado. Be careful. Busque la guía de Dios para escoger sus amistades. Look in the, uh, to the guidance of God to choose your friends carefully. Busque la guía de Dios hasta para saber dónde debe de ir. Look to the guidance of God even including to where you should go or not go. Busque la guía de Dios para encontrar su pareja. Look for the guidance of God to find your mate. No se deje llevar por su corazón o sus emociones. Do not follow what your heart tells you or what your emotions tell you. Busque buen consejo. Look for sound Christian counsel. Amen. Um, ¿Qué peligros podemos encontrar fuera de Cristo? What dangers can we find outside of Christ? Yo creo que ustedes pueden enumerar muchos peligros. I'm sure that you can come up and number a, 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 a bunch of them. Algunas cosas que podemos encontrar en el mundo. Some other things that we can find in the world are. Drogas. Drugs. Alcohol. Alcohol. Violación. Rape, adicciones, addictions, embarazo, pregnancy, Galatas capítulo 1, Galatians chapter 1, Galatas 1 versos 4 y 5 dice, verses 4 and 5 tells us the following, que el mundo está lleno de maldad, 
that the world is a world filled of evil. Y en, no se puede encontrar nada bueno en el mundo. And you can't find anything good in the world. This is, this is in Galatians. No nos engañemos. Let, let, let us not fool ourselves. El segundo punto, y esto nos lleva al segundo punto que se titula pasiones desordenadas. We're moving on to another point entitled uh, uh, passions. Disorderly passions? No. What is it? No. Um, passions that are, um, yeah. Um, disorderly passions? Disorderly passions. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm sorry, we're having trouble with passions the Passions with no control. Yeah. Yeah. Passions without control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, una de las palabras que les voy a describir es concupiscencia. Um, I'm going to have trouble with that one. Uh, one of the lust. words that we're going to... Just lust. Okay. One of the words that I'm going to describe is lust. Um, una vez más les digo... Um, a todos en general. I am referring to, uh, myself to all of you. Eh, la concupiscencia o las miradas sucias jamás, jamás pueden significar mi atracción, mi, mi, uh, mi, mi amor, uh -huh. nada. A, a, a look that is, that is lustful or, or dirty can never mean a, a, a real true romance. Mm -hmm. Exacto, no, no es romántico. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's deceiving. Eh, concupiscencia. Lustful, o, or lust. Es un deseo sexual fuerte. It's a strong sexual desire. Y eh, Siquem era un hombre joven. And Shikam, the young man, the young prince that we've been talking about in the scriptures, was a young man. Él era un príncipe entre los hebreos. As I said before, he was a prince among the Hivites or Hivites. Eh, la Biblia nos dice que en esos en esos lugares donde él vivía. And the Bible tells us that around those areas where he lived, sus prácticas <clears throat> eran abominables. The Bible says that their practices were abominable. Aún sus prácticas religiosas eran horribles. Even their religious practices were horrible. And, and, and I'm sure that, I'm sorry for interrupting, they, they must have been abominable to the Lord. They, they must have been horrible before the holy eyes of the Lord. Estas prácticas han debido ser abominables incluso en los ojos de Dios. Correcto. Gracias, Raúl. <coughs> Los hebreos eran descendientes de Cam y él era el tercer hijo de Noé. The Hivites were The Hivites were descendants of uh, Shem. No. Descendants oh, of Oh, Cam, Cam, yeah, Ham. Ham. Ha, ha, Ham. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the the Hivites as I said before, they're descendants of Ham, son of Noah. Y ellos se habían alejado de Dios. And they had gone astray. They had gone away from the Lord, from God. Y ellos hicieron sus propias imágenes con sus manos para adorarlas. And they made their own images with their own hands to adore them. Y no to hay, worship them. No hay ninguna excusa teológica eh, para hacer algo así. And there is no theological excuse to do something like that. Adorar imágenes es algo que Dios aborrece. To worship images is something that God uh, despises. Es más, Dios habla que Él castiga ese tipo de pecado. Even more so, the Bible tells us that God punishes that kind of behavior. Dios está en todas partes. God is everywhere. Y solo debemos de adorarle a Él. And we should only uh, adore or worship Him. Él demanda, Él exige que solo a Él se le adore. He demands, he, he, he asks of us that we should only worship Him. Volviendo a los uh, hebeos. 
Coming back to the subject of the Hivites. Hib um, ellos, su, su moral era muy baja. Their moral standards were uh, very low. Ellos hacían lo que querían. They did what they wanted to do. Y como uno de sus príncipes. And uh, Shikam as one of their little prince. Se, or his, their little prince. Eh, Siquem hacía lo que él quería. This young man did as he pleased. Y su papá le daba gusto. And his father uh, gave, um, gave in to him. He, 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 um, he did whatever whims this young man wanted. Sus padres no habían puesto ningún límite para Siquén. This young man, his parents had not, uh, 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 had not given him any, any kind of limits. Y cuando un joven o una señorita no tiene ningún límite. And when a young person has no limits. Tienden a convertirse en abusadores. They tend to become in abusers. O, o lo que en inglés se llaman bullies también. Or they become bullies. Eh, si quien estaba movido por sus pasiones desordenadas. Sikkim, uh, the young man, was moved by these unruly passions. Y tomó a Dina y la violó a la fuerza. And took Dina by force and raped her. Ahora, quiero que presten atención lo que dice el verso 3. I want you to pay close attention what verse 3 says. Para una persona que nada más lo lee. For someone that reads in, in, a, in a very uh, fast way. Luego se enamoró Siquén de Dina y trató de ganarse su afecto. In English it says, his heart was drawn to Dinah, daughter of Jacob. He loved the young woman and spoke tenderly to her. Para una persona que no conoce verdaderamente la vida. So for someone that doesn't know life very well. Dirían, ay, qué bonito, qué romántico. Something like this, reading it, uh, may, may, may just seem, oh, how beautiful that is, uh, how romantic. La amaba. He loved her. Ay, escucha, dice que hasta dulcito le habló. And, and the Bible says that he even spoke tenderly to her. Hay muchas versiones que dice que le habló dulcemente. There are, there are many versions that says that Shechem spoke sweetly to her. Otras dice, trató de, eh, ganarse su amor. And, and in other versions it says that he, he, he tried to gain her affection. Uh, para las personas profesionales que trabajan con víctimas. For professionals that work with victims of rape. Eh, o víctimas de abuso en general. Or victims of, of, of abuse in general. Este es parte del patrón del abusador. This is part of the pattern of the abuser. Que se portan después de darle tremenda paliza a la mujer. That after uh, hurting a woman or, or, or hitting a woman to a pulp. O de, o de eh, violarla. Or after raping a woman. Uy, cómo se portan dulcitos. They are so sweet afterwards. Les, les traen flores. They would bring flowers les, to her. Les traen una cena, un chocolatito. They would bring chocolate to her. They invite them to dinner or something like that. Trying to, to, to masquerade what they've done. Les traen joyitas que se vean más linda. M maybe jewelry. Les hablan dulce. Perdona, mi amor. And they, and they speak sweetly to her and, 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 and they say things like, please forgive me, my love. Ay, nunca, nunca más voy a hacer eso. I will Dios. never, I will never ever do this again. Miren. Let me tell you something. Eh, a, eh, yo he escrito esto. A todas las damas y caballeros. To all the ladies and gentlemen out there. Esas personas que después de lastimarles y abusarles. These people that after damaging you, 
harming you or abusing harming you or abusing you thank you violarles maltratarles raping you or, or mistreating you tratan de hablarle dulcemente they try to talk to you sweetly hasta le piden perdón and they even uh, go as far as to asking for forgiveness le traen regalos le hacen promesas they would bring uh, gifts they make promises jamás Debe de creerles. You should never believe them. La primera vez que lo hagan. The first time that they do it. Y usted les permite seguir en la relación. And you allow them to continue in that relationship. Va a haber una segunda vez. There's going to be a second time. Una tercera vez. A third time. Una quinta vez. A fifth time. Una décima vez. A tenth time. Hasta que al final. That maybe in the end. Esa víctima, that victim va a terminar en la morgue a muerta. Will end up dead in the morgue. Porque estas personas because these people empiezan con, con un golpecito. They start with a little slap on the face. Empiezan con un insulto. They start with a, an insult maybe. Empiezan con una falta de respeto. They start with maybe uh, some uh, disrespectful comment or phrase y continúa a peor 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 and this continues it balloons up worse and worse and worse como les dije anteriormente los profesionales que trabajan con víctimas de violación víctimas de abuso as i told you before the professionals that work with uh, victims of abuse victims of uh, uh, rape preste atención a este patrón they, they tell you to pay close attention to this pattern of behavior. Es el abuso. The abuse. Después es el, el darle un regalo o hacer algo bonito. So first the abuse and then uh, something to... to uh, they do something good. They do something good. Las promesas. Promises come after. Las palabritas lindas, tiernas. Sweet and tender words come after that. Pero le aseguro. But I tell you. Que la siguiente vez. That the next time. Va a ser peor que la primera. It's going to be worse than the first time. Uh, todo eso que les digo. Everything that I've been telling you. Son estrategias para mantener a la víctima al lado de él are only strategies that the abuser employs to keep the victim close to them. Vemos que Siquem primero tomó a Tina. We observe in the scriptures that Siquem, this young man, first he took Dinah. Y después fue donde los padres a pedir casarse con ella. And then later he went to the parents to, to ask to marry uh, Dinah. Lo correcto. The correct way. Es que primero debería de haberla pedido como su esposa. That in the beginning, the first thing he should have done was to ask for Dinah in marriage. Y después hacerla su, eh, su esposa y tener intimidad con ella. And then it would, and then to make her, make her his wife and have intimacy with her. In that order. Exacto. Ese es el orden de Dios. That is the order that God demands. Vemos que también Siquem tiene otra estrateg estrategia vil. We also have a very evil strategy that Siquem employs here. Y es que Siquem separó a Dina de su familia. And this is that Siquem separated Dina from her family. Después de haberla violado. After raping her. Él la mantuvo en su casa. He kept Dinah in his house, in his palace. Básicamente. Basically. Siquem raptó a Dinah. Shechem uh, kidnapped Dinah. Exacto, kidnapped. Y eso es lo que hacen los abusadores hoy. And this is still the pattern that abusers employ nowadays. Y tenga usted mucho cuidado. And please be very careful. 
Hay muchas estratagemas que abusadores usan para separar a sus víctimas de la familia. And there, there are a plethora of strategies that uh, abusers employ to separate you from your family, to keep you isolated from your family. Se, se mueven a una ciudad más lejos. They move to a far away city. O se, se mueven a otro estado inclusive. They, they move to another state even. Y hacen todo tipo de cosas para mantener a sus víctimas alejadas de las personas que las pueden ayudar. And they try to do anything possible to keep these victims uh, away from family that loves them and that could possibly help them. Tengan mucho cuidado. Please be very careful. Um, yo quisiera hacer una pregunta a todos. I would like to ask you a question. Uh, this is just a question to everybody out there. ¿Acaso puede existir una excusa para violar a una mujer? Could there possibly be an excuse, a possible excuse, to rape a woman? Hay personas there are people que buscan por excusas that look for excuses y hasta defienden a violadores and they defend the perpetrators the 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 abuser y, a, y peor todavía and and even worse hasta encuentran acusaciones contra la víctima they find accusations against the victims y les voy a leer algunas excusas. And I'm going to read some of these excuses. Oh, ella no debería haberse vestido así. She should have never dressed that way. Uh, esto fue utilizado hace poco por, de, por un, a causa de la violación de una jovencita en el ejército. This was the case, uh, unfortunately, uh, of something that happened in the army uh, in, these, uh, in these past months. Después de la cuarentena. Uh, right after the quarantine. Eh, ustedes han debido escuchar de la violación, violación y asesinato de la señorita Guillén. You might have heard of, of the, the rape and also the, the or the abuse and, uh, and also the, the killing or the slaying, slaying, right? Slaying of, uh, of the young lady by the last name of Guillén. In the army. Y alguien que trató de, no de defender al abusador, pero somebody, excusa, alguien que quiso encontrar una excusa. And somebody that tried to look for an excuse. Dijeron que ella no debería haberse vestido así. Uh, they, they made statements as something along the lines that she should have never dressed that way. Uh, otra excusa que la gente dice es que, oh, pero es que ella me provocó. Another excuse that could come up is like, uh, well, she, she provoked me. Otros dicen, ella se lo buscó con esa manera de comportarse. And others accuse in the manner of saying, she looked for that. She, she, she was looking for that to happen to her uh, by the way she behaved. Y uno más que encontré que dice, oh, pero ella no debería andar sola por ahí. And another one that we found was uh, she should have never been there by herself in those places by herself. She should have never been there. Yo sí reconozco. I do understand and I do recognize. Como mujer. As a woman. Que es correcto que una dama debe prestar atención a la manera de vestirse. That a lady should pay close attention or special attention to the manner in which she dresses. Debe también prestar atención a su manera de comportarse ante los varones. And she should also pay close attention to the manner in which she behaves around men. Y también de a dónde debe de ir en, eh, conociendo que sean lugares peligrosos o que sea de noche. And also taking special care about uh, places where she's visiting, especially if it's at night. Pero jamás. But never. Jamás ninguna de esas cosas. But never, none of these things. Son excusa para violar a una mujer. Are an excuse to rape a woman. Mucho menos. Uh, uh, even less. Eh, para violar, utilizar la fuerza para violar a una mujer. 
or to do this in a in a in a violent and forceful manner. Y les digo esto bien claro. And I'm going to tell you this uh, straight on. El violador es 100% culpable. The abuser, the rapist, is 100% uh, culpable. Uh, he, guilty. Guilty. Thank you. That's right. Uh, quiero terminar diciendo... I would like to end up telling you the following. Que la violación, es triste que la violación casi nunca se ha denunciado. It is very sad that rape has never been denounced or, 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 or brought to the light. Cuando una víctima de violación habla al respecto. When a victim of rape talks about something like this. Hay incluso situaciones que ni se les cree. And there are situations in which the victims are not believed. Y... Eh, se las acusa de haber causado su propia situación. And they are accused of bringing about that situation on themselves. Y es así como los abusadores están libres haciendo mucho daño a otras personas. And this is why you have many abusers uh, roaming around free and continuing to hurt other people. En esta iglesia. In this church. Estamos hablando al respecto. We are talking about this subject. Sin pelos en la lengua. Without any kind of ambiguity. Y animamos a las personas. And we encourage people. Que hayan sido víctimas de abuso o de violación. That may have been uh, victims of abuse or rape. Que hagan la denuncia correspondiente. To come forth and make the... the, the, um, the the accusation or bring about to light what, what has happened. Cuando se hacen las denuncias, when you uh, bring this to light, podemos ayudar también a que estos abusadores y violadores consigan la ayuda que necesitan. We also are looking to have the perpetrators find the proper uh, help that they need. Es importante ofrecerles la gracia perdonadora y el amor de Dios. It is very important to, to give them the uh, grace, uh, the, the forgiving grace of God. Y hacerles saber que Dios puede restaurarlos. And, 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 and to let them know that God can restore them. Esto no se trata solamente de castigarlos. This is not only about uh, bringing punishment to them. Can I say something? Uh, quickly, I just want to say that uh, restoring an abuser. Um, quiero decir que el restaurar a una persona que son abusadores. Even if you go to the best therapist. Aun cuando vayas al mejor te terapista. The best kind of 12-step program. La mejor, uh, el mejor programa de los 12 pasos. Or human strategy. O cualquier estrategia humana. There is no substitute. No hay sustituto. Than the changing and the transforming of the Lord God onto those people. Que la, la transformación y el cambio que Dios puede hacer en esas personas. Only God can bring about change in the abuser. Solo Dios puede cambiar al abusador. And speaking about the victim, only God can bring about true healing in those victims. Y hablando acerca de las personas que son víctimas, solamente Dios puede traer la verdadera completa sanidad. So as workers for Christ, como obreros de Cristo, our job is to point to Christ in all situations. Nuestro trabajo es apuntar a Cristo en todas las situaciones. Amén. Gloria al Señor. Eh, justamente eso es lo que quería decir. Amén. Amén. Es exactly what I wanted to say. Que las víctimas necesitan mucho de la gracia de Dios. That victims need a lot of the grace of God. Porque esos corazones lastimados. Because those hurt. Uh, 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 those broken hearts. Broken hearts. Pueden quedarse así. They can say in that in that uh, in that manner in that brokenness. Oramos que Dios intervenga 
sane y restaure. We pray that the Lord intervene in those lives and restores those victims. Um, es, quiero, eh, está un poquito largo, yo sé que está largo, pero creo que vamos a terminar aquí yeah. y vamos a volver a tomar... Uh, Vamos a seguir hablando de Siquem. This is a, a very long uh, um, teaching, but we're going to continue talking about Siquem. Eh, no hemos tocado ni la tercera parte. We haven't touched not even the third part of this uh, uh, Bible study, but it's been really an eye-opener. Eh, vamos a hacer una corta oración, si tú nos puedes dirigir. We're going to uh, pray briefly, um, and I will lead it. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for all the truths that we have uncovered in your holy word. We have seen the, the, that things are to be done in your order. Hallelujah. We ask first and then we take. Yeah. Rather than taking first and even by force mm. and then asking. And, and, and then asking later. Things need to be done in your order blessed way in yes, your yes. order you're a god of order yes, lord. so lord we have we have uncovered many of the truths that are are, are in your scriptures we we thank you we thank you that yes, you lord. have added blessing to your scriptures yes, and lord. we have also thanked the holy spirit for being here today and and opening our eyes our spiritual eyes to all these things in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen hallelujah eh, vamos a continuar con esta lección mañana, la misma hora, 6 de la tarde. We're going to continue with this lesson tomorrow, same time, same channel. We see you tomorrow. Blessings.